Greetings, shoppers. I'm coming at you with another video. It's been a while since I've done one. And I'm doing more Cards of the Dead. I did one stream of it at one point, but I haven't touched it in a while. Some of you wanted to see me go back, so here we are. Last time we did Rick's playthrough, and he had a lot more blue serum. And this is Selena. She has a gun, but it's a lot harder to keep her alive because she doesn't have as much access to the anti-zombification drug that Rick did. And I also don't know how to play her. She picks up guns where Rick was like, outside of maybe a handgun, Rick was like, no guns. So we're going to just carry on. So anyway, my life has consisted of things. Ow. I should not have done that where I had to go and get my blood drawn on Wednesday. And when I got my blood drawn on Wednesday, shit, hold on. I, I need to fill out my gun some more. Okay. When I got my blood drawn, my port worked tremendously well at first. And then it did not work at all. And it's unusual to have like three pulls on a port like three tubes do well and then it just fucking stopped it was like out of nowhere my port decided it did not want to do what it was supposed to do anymore which is unusual either they work really well the whole way through or not at all so i really wish i could say it would work i don't know what's happening with my port uh, the phlebotomist basically said it's nothing she's ever seen where it just starts and stops, so. I'm already losing, like, a lot of my life in this game and a lot of my ammo in this game. I don't think we're going to get very far today, personally, in this game, because I just know that I'm going to need a lot of runs with Selena and... I don't even want to know what it's going to be like with the next person. Because we did try with Selena before. Oh, thank heavens. I think this is, yeah, for her big gun she's already got. Okay, do I want to break that open or not? Oh, God. Like I said, I need a lot more goo than what I got. Okay. Here we go. We got some goo. Oh god. Run, run, run. Because that will cause me problems. Alright, I'm gonna shoot that bitch. I'm gonna shoot this bitch. And then we're gonna unstuff it. Because otherwise I'd be losing a lot more ammo. Okay. <laughs> All the, I, every branch on the way down, eh, Selena? Okay, that's one bullet only. She doesn't have anything else I can use except a grenade. Okay. No more oh, bullets, oh. hardly. Oh, God. Then they oh. stole my something important. I love how the they can get away with it, and I'm just like, but I need that. And then they're like, but you really don't. I uh, spent two hours on the phone talking to my sister. That was nice. Ooh. We usually talk twice a week if possible. I'm gonna just run for it even though I know that's not the best idea. There we go. Hopefully there won't be more dogs. Oh god, I need that. I need that. I need that bad. There we go. I, I have a few turns now. Oh, fuck me. Okay. And I think this is the only dog I can actually kill. Because I have no more weapons. Because none of these bullets fit this gun. <laughs> Damn it to hell. Yeah, Selena's gonna be rough. She's gonna be really rough. But, okay. So, after the port thing, which upsets me, because my port is in my body for a reason... I'm a very difficult draw, except 
the phlebotomist that can hardly figure out my port, she can do my arm like really well. It's it's actually kind of fantastic how well she can do my arm. So even though it wasn't the best thing to have her be like, yeah, this ain't working, Toluca. It was still a lot better for me than someone else telling me that story. Oh God. Uh, excuse me whilst I throw my grenade, I suppose? I usually keep my grenade in my pants. Uh, let's not do that this time. Let's uh, chuck my grenade right here. Wake up everyone else. Okay, that was a stupid idea, Chaluka. Very stupid indeed. But let's, let's stuff the gun. Full of ammo. As much of it as we can possibly muster. Excellent. There we go. Now we make them stronger bullets and go this one first. Wrong. Wrong thing I'm selecting. Oh, there we go. But yeah, so let's see. Tomorrow I'm at Dan's Bunker, like I said on stream. We are talking, publishing, and writing. And I'm not quite sure what that's going to entail because I am a guest and I am not the master of ceremonies, as it were. And that's an important distinction as I can't give you a hint as to the structure or anything like that. I do know Dan was interested in the fact that I have written horror, so there might be something to do with that. Although I can't guarantee anything, obviously. And I'm almost out of ammo. Oh fuck, I should not have done that. I'm an idiot. Wow. Selena, poor girl. If this doesn't work out, like I said, I was going to do this one as a video series, not a stream, but uh, I'm going to be getting my ass handed to me so badly that it probably is a good idea to uh, just kind of deal with. I'm going to just run. I'm going to just try to run as fast as I can. Look, okay, I'm going to use her look thing, I guess, over here. Okay, we're going to snag that can of soup. Come on, please let me pick the soup up. Wait, well, there we go. I was like, why won't it let me pick up the soup? Oh, fuck. Okay, and if I use my gun, that's going to wake up Dick McGee over there. So, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I was far enough away. Okay, I'm okay. Uh, run or look? I will look. Okay, now I will run. Because I have the blue goo. And I have some food. I'm gonna run. Ah, oh, fuck. Not my food. Well, then again, he could've... Why can he do that? Okay, Selena has a gun, right? Am I imagining the gun? So if he's gonna threaten me with a gun, I'd be like, Yeah, pal, that little pea shooter is nice. I have, like... An army rifle here, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, okay, I need one shot for him. There we go. Oh no, I need a big shot for him. So, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I should not have done that. Anyway, my baby brother and I are gonna go rummage sailing on Saturday. When I say baby brother, uh, he's 28. So I don't mean for anybody to think that I mean like baby baby because he's not. I mean he is to me because we basically raised the kid and all that but yeah it's our tradition we go rummage sailing every summer if we can uh, see each other. He's home all summer long to help with our nephew so Okay, yes. I was like, should I flip that over? But yes, I should. Okay. Now that I don't have the blue goo, I have to keep my health up. 
Oh god. But yeah, I really do love rummage sailing, even though it's more dangerous for me nowadays because of everything going on. Since the panini, I don't really go many places. I definitely don't without a mask, and a lot of times with all this, I end up getting ill. And I really sometimes shouldn't risk it, but I also know that, okay, that's a big can of food. Oh, the, the gun or the knife would work. I will take the knife. It will uh, not wake up the bad thing next to him if there is a bad thing. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna take the knife again. I wish I had more things to see if something were dangerous. Well, okay, we're gonna run. We're, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. I know that's not gonna be the best plan of action. Probably. But I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna run. Safe houses have uh, lab kits sometimes. Like health kits, so... I'm just gonna keep on running if I can. We're gonna take the food, we're gonna use the food, and we're gonna run. I wish I could- oh god. I wish I could cheat. And, uh, yeah. Be like, well, isn't this special? And just, like, run away. Or, like, save scum. I wish I could save scum in this game. That would be so nice. So very nice. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I... Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm, I'm so dead. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna probably regret our life decisions. We're gonna take this out of here. We're gonna throw this damn grenade. There we go. But now I have nothing else. I have nothing left. We'll go here. I was gonna say, if that's another dog, I was gonna cry. But yeah, I like rummage sailing. I like it a lot. For various reasons, but one is sometimes I find crafting stuff on the- oh no. I find crafting stuff on the cheap sometimes. And that's very important to find crafting stuff on the cheap. Because when you are poor, crafting is not always the most accessible thing for you to be doing with your free time. Ah, oh, fuck. Why can't I just shoot him? Well, now I have no bullets. I was close to a save room. I could feel that in my shell. And then Sunday, I have a free day, I think. And then I also have paperwork to do for keeping our apartment every year. We have the lease renewal and such. So that's something we have to do every year. And while well, that is okay, that is also just more, I don't want to say fuckery, but fuckery. <laughs> It'll be fine. As long as I don't have too much brain fog, I'll be able to do it, no problem. But if I do, then I do. Uh, should we? Yes, we should. Okay. Maybe I should run while, I, while the getting's good. I don't know if running or actually doing things would actually benefit me more in this game. Sometimes it's very hard for me to tell what the better play is at points, you know? Okay, one bullet will kill this guy up here. Yep, here we go. But this guy, I should have used my grenade, shouldn't I? Well, live and learn, hanging on the edge of tomorrow. I'm glad when I use something in my inventory, it's not like, ha! Ah, you were too busy! You died. I'm glad it's very, like, not dickish that way. Oh! Whoops. I didn't think about that. Well, that's okay. And then Monday, I'm gonna meet up with an old schoolmate. Uh, 
it'll be nice to see her. We were really close in high school. But um, one thing is I don't really want to write as close to going out as all that because when I go out, I get brain fog. So having to be out that quickly after like going rummage sailing, which takes a lot because when we rummage sail, we go for hours, uh, my brother and I. So because of that, it's going to be kind of difficult to keep up with everything, though I'm going to try. But also, and I, I don't want to sound mean shelpers, okay? But this girl, we'll, we'll just not try to use names, even though her name is very basic. Uh, this girl always comes to me when she has problems with her life. And not really any other time. If that makes sense. So I'm always kind of leery, like, she's like, oh, this is happening in my life, what should I do? Or, oh, I'm having this medical thing or this problem with my husband. And I do know that people need people to talk to. But I also know that I am not on her list of, like, how do I put this? Not favorite people, but, like, I'm not someone she hardly talks to. Like, she had medical issues? Yes. I need that med kit, so speaking of med issues, but... Oh, shit, I gotta leave. Okay. But I know she had issues medically last year, just around this time last year. So she asked me, how do you wait for specialists and answers? And I gave her the answers I could. I... Oh, dear. I really did. I gave her the answers I could. The answers I knew how to give. Because I've dealt with a lot of medical stuff before, of course. And she kind of disappeared. Oh, fuck. Uh, anyway, she disappeared afterward. On me. As though me giving her answers was everything she sought. And this is not the first time. She had problems in her marriage last time. And then she ran away. Not ran away, but like got the answer she she thought she wanted from me and uh, disagreed with the answers I gave her, which is her right. And then after she got the answers from me, she was like, okay, you know, I don't really need to talk to you anymore, basically. And I know everybody's busy, but... If you are, um, oh god, run away. If you are basically using someone for advice and then you don't talk to them any other time, that's kind of not cool, um, I feel. Because I kind of sort of feel like she is kind of just saying, hey, I need help with this, and then she's like gone out of my life. And maybe that's not a fair assertion or assumption on my part, but also she just disappears. So what else am I supposed to think? You know, and it's been a whole year. I messaged her last. She, oh God, oh God. I should have taken that first, damn it to hell. But yeah, she gave me this whole, what do I do in this medical situation? when I have to wait for tests and answers and I'm like, well, you know, think about your dreams and your family and oh fuck, oh fuck, I fucked me. That was my bad. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Well, let's just keep on trucking. We're doing okay. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck, we're no longer doing okay. We are no longer doing okay. All right, but anyway. I just, I feel kind of used. So, I don't know. But at the same time, she needs help, and I want to help her. So, I try. Which means Monday I'm going to go out and talk to her and see if I can help anything. And then, when it comes to... Um... Wednesday, I have a doctor's appointment. 
to get all those lovely tests I took figured out. Which is so nice. Okay, I have a shit ton of ammo now. That's cool. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Go over there. Go over there. Yep. Okay, and now make sure the gun only has the one thing in it. Uh, I think I did the wrong thing, actually. Hold on. Wait, there we go. Okay, and now can we, yes, there we go. I know the one is gonna hit me for three or whatever. I can't help that. Okay, but now, wait, I could have maybe. Well, too late now. All right. Ah, oh, my dick. What is with these people? Well, we got some more ammo at least. Ah, uh, I know I keep doing something wrong with her. I know I do. But yeah, part of me wants to just say to the girl, you know, you don't talk to me unless you need help. And I'm not cool with that because friends don't do that and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I fucked myself. Now I got to run for a few levels just to kind of make it through the day. All right, we're gonna pop him one. There we go, and then we can go back to one. Nope, okay, there we go. I do like the fact that the gun can be used as a stronger form of weaponry and then, you know, given up for something that fits you better but it's not always that simple either in this game oh fuck oh fuck i wonder how many times we can leave because i will use up a bullet to open this so we can get the fuck out but i also need to find the exit <laughs> yep i couldn't find the exit in time so, damn. I told you, Selena's a lot rougher than Rick was. Rick, even though he only had, like, very limited access to guns, Rick was like, Hey, there's all this blue goo I can inject myself with. Yeah, I forgot. If you see the door, run. Okay, we're gonna just shoot the dog. Sorry about that, animal lovers. I don't even know if running is actually a good choice or not at this rate. Oh yes, okay. We need that right away. Okay. Not the best amount of food or bullets. Speaking of bullets, we should fill up the gun as much as possible to give us some room. Cause, yeah. Alrighty. Now we can- oh yes! I don't know what kind of gun that was. I've never seen that one before. We got a bunch of ammo. Uh, okay. Ooh. Blue goo! Yes! Thank you, blue goo. I don't know what to do about it though. Okay. We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. Th things can are gonna get rougher. We're just gonna leave. I really hope we can find a good spot soon. I actually am going to throw this food away for that knife. And we can take that. Oh, we can use... Do we have the key in the backpack? We do. Okay. Okay, we're going to swap that around so I can use the key to get in the store. Let's hope I did not just make a mistake because the store can be a double-edged sword as we've seen. Okay, do we want to break it? Oh, okay, yes, we want that. We want that. How do I get in there? Well, first, we... There we go. Oh, no. 
Oh no, please help me. Oh god, get out, get out, get out, okay. I actually managed to escape relatively, relatively unscathed, which I'm always shocked about when that happens, you know. Oh no, no, no bad puppies, okay. So, that's about what's going on with me, except I'm trying to figure out how exactly I... I'm going to go about marketing this book, and I know people will be like, well, isn't it too soon to worry about marketing the book? And not really. Not really. And the reason is... Oh, safe house, yes. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, ammo for the gun. We're gonna have to like, eat up and like, figure everything out first. Like, okay, what kind of bullets do you use? Is it this one? Okay, hold on. Is that... No, that's not bullets for this gun. Holy jumping Jehoshaphat. You know what? We're gonna use the light to shine it on, like, the corner over here. Okay. We're gonna definitely take that, because we need it. And... Let's take a look. I'm going to throw this out. It's one bullet, and it's taking up a full slot. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, let's see. Okay, that's a four bullets for that slot. Is there any other one bullet? Because I don't want one bullet. No. I don't know if this is a, a, for any kind of gun I own. So I'm not sure, like, what it is. So do I delete it or do I hope to get that gun later, you know? Oh god, okay, we're deleting that those bullets. I hope this is not the wrong choice, Shelpers. I hope this is not the wrong fucking choice. Alright. And we're leaving. I think that saves. And we're not doing bad at all. Oh god, fucking damn it. Just as I said that, right? Right. Alright. I was like, oh, this ain't so bad. But it is, though. Okay. Hold on. Stop quivering for one second. There we go. I was gonna say, that's probably not... Okay, we're gonna steal the light, and we're gonna just keep on trucking. Even though, like I said, we're not doing badly right now. Now we're gonna start draining energy like... <laughs> like mad. Okay, let me take the flashlight out. Okay, there's a bottom one I need. Cause that'll do more. And then we'll go this way. So if the flashlight doesn't turn... Oh god, I need that. Okay. So if the flashlight doesn't turn it... Does that mean... I, and I need that, I need that. Okay, we're gonna get rid of these two bullets. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> but this is a really powerful uh, weapon. We'll just take this off the board. Oh, that's a really powerful weapon too, isn't it? Well, we're gonna load that up, take this. Then I'm gonna squeak on out of here. Oh my god, okay. We're gonna smack her. And then we're gonna take our gun, and then we're gonna shoot her, and then everybody else is gonna wake up. Yep, right there. Well, we're doing everything we can, you know? Awesome. We do have two med packs. And that is actually gonna be helpful. I know it doesn't necessarily seem like it's helpful, but it is. I don't think I want that stuff over there. I'm gonna just run. 
Hmm. Again, I'm just gonna run. I know this is probably. Oh god. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna use our gun. Should we bother with that? Like. Okay, ah, uh, okay. Now we're gonna shoot that. Okay, now we're gonna work our way through here. Probably with the chainsaw. I'm not sure. I think they come back, the things that shoot me. They do? Yes, okay. But I'm still in a fairly good position. First, we're gonna take out the one that can shoot me right there. Do I ignore, maybe, and just keep on plugging away? Because, like, ow. Oh, it's only one at a time. And then we're just gonna look like, you know, cause and effect all the damage here. Okay, so. I thought, oh, I was gonna say, I thought I could get through. I can, okay. She's here. I entered the desolate place without knowing I would discover the truth just a few hours later. The door is a one-way entrance to the truth. Cool. It almost sounds poetic, right? The door is a one-way entrance to the truth. Press any button. Okay. We are not in the best position. Oh yeah, I remember this. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through the lab as Selena. Because, oh no, oh no. Okay, first of all. We're gonna load the gun back up. We're gonna load the gun back up. We're gonna take this weapon. I love this weapon. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna load. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna... We're gonna poke him with our stick. There we go. See? Very nice. Oh my god, a six. Oh god. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like... I love how it's just a guy in, like, football gear. Oh, no. Okay, I have two of these. That, that's why we have two. That's exactly, that's exactly why. Okay. I remember there's, like, a really bad person. Oh, God. I'm doing the wrong thing, aren't I? I should have just ran. So there was, oh, my God. There was no, no good looking out there. So, in this game, if I find a door, I should run through it in the lab. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, first I'll take this. Very nice. Okay. Because that was kind of uh, close. That was kind of close. <laughs> but it's, it's cool, Shelpers. Uh, don't panic. Oh, Shelpers. <laughs> I, uh, sh I probably should be panicking about now. You know, let me, let me take this grenade and, and put it out of my pocket. And, uh, try to... Yeah, blow everybody up. Okay. He's only got one health, though. So, that should be fine. And nobody woke up down here, so I'm hoping that there's... Okay, here's more info. So by experimenting with humans, I realized that by making the right combination, I could create a poison that has two ways of curing itself. One, by re-injecting it, which gives you a few more minutes of life, or the final one, which cancels the virus altogether. That of the pandemic and the poison I have made. Okay. Oh yeah, we need that. And we also need that. Good, good, good. I'm gonna leave the last stone unturned, just in case it's bad. We're not doing too horribly. Okay, another memo. I did not walk on roses to get here, nor did they make it easy for me in the laboratory because of my unethical practices, to put it politely. But the end justifies the means, or does it not? No, it doesn't. Machiavelli can- this Machiavelli bullshit can go straight to fucking hell. I hate people like, oh, the ends justify the means. They- they really don't, though? Like, how many people do you intend to hurt, kill, maim? Just how many? Okay, we got a phaser razor, and 
my character is like turning into a zombie slowly, so that's cool. I guess we'll finish off the right. Uh, run through the door, run through the door. Okay, gotcha. Can I go in now? Nope, still not. I have to go through all the doors. Ooh. New memo. Simple, right? Not so simple. Only someone, a genius, and why not say it? A psychopath like me can achieve it. Can you imagine writing this down in your diary, Shelpers? A genius and a psychopath. It's like, I'm stroking myself, but yet, not too much. Just the right thing that no one else is supposed to read. I always heard that if you didn't get anywhere, it was because you didn't try hard enough. Is that what they meant? By the way, what is that noise? Um, is this like a, a uh, version of pull my finger he's playing with himself right now? Okay, that is the last good healing item we have. Shelpers. Um... Okay, we're gonna hit him with this. And then hit him with this. There we go. Nice. I love the fire axes. Probably should have did it with the gun, but we're gonna run. I Like I said, I know I'm losing the battle here because I'm not finding enough healing items. But at least we're finding new memos. I had to use some human guinea pigs, so what? Progress doesn't come through sacrifice? I couldn't help it, I'm sorry. Those babies were necessary. The government didn't give me a problem either. Well, yes, they gave me problems, but there's always an alternative. There are always sewers. There are the sewers. Find extra funding. Oh, okay. So is he saying he got babies out of the sewer? Are we literally watching out for Shredder right now? Okay. That was something. Okay. At least we got some blue goo to help us on our way. I wish we had a little more food. At least nobody's gonna stick me up in here. You know the guys on the street corner that are like, stick them up. Oh no, I left the blue goo behind. No. Fuck. Okay, it's Donkey Kong. Okay. Um. I was gonna try to, but I have no life, do I? I don't think so. And I think after that, oh wow. Yep, okay, I can turn a card back around with that thing. Okay, that is interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, I am done with this gun. Okay, I'm not done with that gun. And I have one more axe body spray. Let's, let's give the gun a try. Fuck. Honestly, fuck. Let's see where we leave off. Are we at the lab? Maybe we are. If that's the case, you know, it's just trial and error till we get everything. I think so. I think we are at the lab. Okay. I did not come in here in the best of shape. Okay, that's the turnaround gun. That's that's actually very nice. We're going to we're going to keep that and move on. We're going to keep that and move on. Actually, let's see if we have any more ammo in our in our pack so we can uh Yeah, I think we can fit it all. Actually, it came in here in pretty good shape if you think about it. Cool. All right. Ooh. One. Yes, eat it. Eat it right away. Let's take the blue goo. Let's not leave it behind this time. Okay. I got out of the city the best I could. I didn't know whether to enter shopping malls to resupply or to continue without stopping. That car, which I managed to start without the keys, came in handy in a situation that became extreme. I was surrounded. Unfortunately, I was able to escape. It was short-lived. 
as soon as I got to the... Okay, I don't know if this is where it actually stops. I think so. We can see later. But it said, unfortunately, I escaped. I think they meant because it was short-lived. But it was just weird to put it at the front of there. But I've done weird things as a writer as well. I mean, we all have. Oh, turn around, please. <laughs> okay, I, I just wanted them to turn around. I didn't want to kill them. Okay, cool. All right, we're full of health and vigor. Turn around. Okay, there we go. Blue goo. We need the blue goo and we're leaving. Good. I'm hoping I can get through this before the end of the video. I'm not sure. Uh, this can get kind of interesting. Okay. Nice. And here we go. Oh, wait. There's another vending machine. I don't know if that did anything except, you know, make me lose my bullets that time. But that's okay. Okay, let's see if we got any bullets for the gun. We do. Not many, but we do. And we're almost halfway through the lab. This is not... Well, we're, we're gonna take it. This isn't bad. Okay. Alright. And we now have a hazmat suit on. Let's go. I don't know if we'll have enough to take care of Donkey Kong. That's kind of going to be an, an, an issue soon. I wonder how much pain and suffering I can put on to Donkey Kong. I can, yeah, I can hit him with this. Oh god, god dang it. I was gonna say, I'm doing well, and then it's like, no, Toluca, you are not. Alright, oh my good god. No, no, no. Okay. I didn't want to do that, but they left me no choice but to fire. Alright, and then, and then we're gonna take out the three bullets to give the one bullet. Okay, hold on. What am I doing here? Let's put in more bullets. Can I take out more bullets? Yes, I can. Okay, here we go. Alright. We still have one full health pack. That's not bad. That really isn't bad for Donkey Kong. Okay, here we go. Donkey Kong time. Here comes Banana Slamma. We're gonna try to put all the bullets in the gun. Let's, let's keep going. Okay. I think I can handle one more hit. Okay. Can I, I can handle one more after that. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pop him. Uh, okay. We're gonna pop him. What the fuck? Oh, I fucked up. I had healing items. I had healing items. I wish I could rewind. I wish I could rewind shoppers. Why did I do that? Shoppers. Shoppers, help me. Why in my infinite amount of stupidity did I do that? Oh god, run, run, run. I would have won. I should have won. I'm a ridiculous old woman. Man. That was not cool. I don't know why I did that, but that's all right. That's all right. We're all silly. We're all silly sometimes. Aren't we? We're all silly. Ah, oh, man, that was, that was rough. I got to admit, that was fucking rough. I had him. I had him. I should have been done. We're running out the door. We're running out the door. I'm going to... I'm gonna try everything I can to keep myself on the straight and narrow. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna also take this and we're gonna put this away for now. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Yeah, we're running. We're running for it. It says lab one. If we have more lab, I'm gonna be like, sob, cries. 
Okay, we're going to uh, shoot him with this. Oh, and that was a very, very bad idea just now. Oh, yep. Okay. I should have healed. I don't know if I uh, quit this for the end of the video, if it'll force me to start the fuck over. And we don't want that, I don't think. So we're just going to keep trucking and it's going to be like a monster video. Like a mega monster video. So let's just keep on going. We're going to stuff all the bullets into the gun. Excellent. Okay, but I have to remember to actually use the healing item. Wouldn't that be amazing? You would think it would be. Let's actually use that right now. There we go. There we go. See, I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm getting smart. Okay, let's cut him down twice. I, I do enjoy getting smart. Uh, run for it. I'm hoping I I should have had it last time. I am so I I wanted to smack myself in the head so hard, so very hard. Okay, let's take this because we can smack him dead, so he can't get us. I know it's a powerful weapon and I should probably be saving it, but I also don't want to take more damage because I don't have a holy shit lot of good stuff right now. Okay. If I run through this door, I will sustain damage. But I'm going to sustain it anyway, so I'm going to run. Yep. I'm gonna take this medicine right here. I'm actually gonna put away this. And now we're gonna go in the left side of the world. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, we're gonna hit him with that. So I don't have to deal with him. I'm tempted. Oh god, I shouldn't have been tempted. I'm an idiot. Okay. I keep telling myself, when you find the door in the lab, you run. You run. And then what don't I do? Run. That would be the one. That would be the one. You know what? Let's turn him around with the ray gun. And let's turn him around with the ray gun. Oh shit. Hang on. Okay. Ray gun time. There we go. I'm trying to use the ray gun because it's not going to do me any good on Donkey Kong. Okay, let's pick up the food and then run. But yeah, Donkey Kong, the food will not do any good. You know, I, I know that for a fact. I've, I've been with Donkey Kong for a while. Oh, good. More food. More food is what I need. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go in my pocket and I'm going to eat a few things currently. There we go. All right, we're doing okay. Not not tremendous, but okay. We're doing okay. Donkey Kong should definitely have the stronger weapons go first. Okay, and then I will shoot him with... Well, you know what? Let me take this out for Donkey Kong. I don't know what it actually will do damage-wise. Okay, I'm definitely going to need a healing item. Okay, we're going to use this. We might be able to get through to Donkey Kong with just a little more force. Just a little more shelpers. Okay, and we need to use this. We, we do. We need to use that. And then we need to do that. Okay, we got the pass key. Okay, we have the pass key for the first world. And we have almost nothing left. So I hope we don't need to go to the next one. The horrible truth was revealed before my eyes in a single second. She was alive, but her eyes had already lost any all possible humanity 
What did they do to you, my child? Okay. That sounds bleak. My beloved daughter. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't have enough uh, stuff here to uh, actually get me through this fight. I really don't. <laughs> okay, I have I have bullets now. And a med kit. And a bomb. Okay, we're gonna use the bomb first. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna bomb our child, but first. Okay, we're gonna take that for my gun. I'm gonna throw this at my child. Okay, she's up and at him. Now, now I'm gonna shoot the critter that crawled out of nowhere. Okay, load up my gun and start going hunting for my baby. Okay. Okay, hold on. I don't think we have much else we can do for now, pretty much. Okay, hold on. I actually wish I had more of a fucking... Oh, damn it to hell. Damn it to hell. I wonder if I stay there to the end. Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I thought it said saving when I got to her. Yeah, it did. Okay. Okay, we need to uh, load up the gun. Wish I had more stuff in my pocket right now. I must say. Oh, that's nice. And the med kit. Okay, so... Can I throw one of these grenades at both of them? Yes, I can. Alright, then I will pick this up. And use it. I can probably throw this away. But I don't really know if I want to. Because what happens if... And I'm just leaving that right there. What happens if? Okay, now we have to kill the assholes. And I don't know if I can. Wait, I, sh I should kill the one with the one first, maybe? Oh. Yeah, that way he would only attack me once. So, that was my bad. I was not planning out very well. I am not a great tactician. I am really not. Okay, so... Oh gosh, okay. This is an, not a great thing for me. I have like nothing left for weapons. Pretty much. Okay, now they're like, oh, we'll give you a pity weapon. Guess what? The pity weapon is not going to be enough. Because whatever it is, it's not going to be enough. A wine glass. So I might be dead. I might not be able to get through this. I might have to start from the beginning. And try it all again in a little bit. I mean, not that I mind the med kit at all. I mean, I quite like the med kit. I'm wondering if I really should just... How do I put this? Not ignore the, my kid, but like... Do it in such a way that... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm talking out of my ass right now, probs, so... Let's see everything she has to give me. And then... Because the rest of this is going to be difficult. So I'm going to load up for bear right now and I'm going to shoot her. I hope the other two come back and I can get them both with one grenade. And I fucking can't. Okay, so what I have to do now... My daughter is not hurting me, but I think I have only four more turns to kill her, which is not great. Yeah. Yes, I do. So I don't know what that does. Okay, hold on. Okay. 
Aim the gun, aim the gun. Okay, not that one, not that one. God damn it. Okay, she only has one more thing on her and I don't know what the countdown does. Oh, it's it's bringing back the evil. Okay. I thought I had to like win. Okay, that's going to be a little bit better, except not really. Okay. Wine glass. I get to throw it at my kid, I guess. I literally cannot win this, I don't think. No, I don't think so. Because they're going to be able to hurt me, even with that. And I have no more healing items, so... Either way, I'm dead. I need to either strategize better or I need to restart the whole thing. I can't tell quite yet. I'm betting on, you know, when I got to the lab, it was so good and I wish I could have saved it. That way I could do all the lab over. Cause it was, it was looking pretty promising there for a bit. And then I fucked the entire universe. Okay. Do I grab first, or do you think I should just, like... Okay, we're gonna take these guys out with one grenade. Awesome. Okay, now we have her for a couple turns. So I can shoot her for, like, two turns now. So that might help. Uh, okay, and they're both fours. That is not something I want to see. Do I ignore them and just let them hurt me? Because they only hurt me a certain extent. And then just keep healing, maybe? Okay, that's not good. Okay, so first thing I need to do is heal up, but... They're going to take me out pretty much immediately. Because I don't have the ability to do anything else with it. Because, like, if I take out... I would have to take out, like... Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I'm not sure I can actually win the shelpers. Um, you know what? I'm going to quit here. Because I'm sure it's been a while. And, uh, you can tell me if you want to see more of this or if you're just like, nah, getting your ship pushed in. Not my idea of fun, but I thought I would try it again for you on here and just let me know. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.